Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Salt Fishing. Fishing. I'm Heath. I'm Bella. And it's time to, to get, get into, into the, the bite. bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Alright folks, on the boat with me today, I got the original South Florida fishing girl. We got Hi. Bella. <laughs> Alright, so on the agenda for today is we're gonna head way offshore and do some deep dropping. We're gonna teach South Florida fishing girl Bella how to use the electric reel, the dial at Tanacom 1000. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to the 800 foot range and do some deep dropping for black belly rose fish, also known as rosies. But the first order of business is we're gonna head out to the shallow ledges of the first reef and we're gonna catch us some nice bait, catch a nice false albacore. Nothing like some fresh bonita as bait doing deep dropping. Hopefully you know, get the South Florida fishing girl on some nice fish, put some meat on the deck. All right, folks, it's looking like a beautiful morning. Got a slight northwest breeze going on. Perfect conditions for heading way offshore, getting into that deep drop bite. You know what that means. We'll see you out on the water. Look how flat it is. All right, folks, so we headed out of Boca Inlet, currently in right around 70 feet or so, heading over to shallow ledges of the first reef. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pitch out some light spinning gear with three quarter ounce bucktail jigs and we're gonna try and catch us false albacore, and then we're gonna head offshore and do some deep dropping. All right, folks, so we're not gonna waste much more time. We're gonna get right into the fishing. So, great thing about fishing with spinning rigs is you cast it out, and you're pretty much set to go. Pitch it out, up and quick, and you're done. All right, that one's ready to go. Let me take our other line, take it. All right, and then we'll let this second line out gonna be good to go let this one out about half the distance of our other one which is out about 100 feet let this out between 50 75 feet not gonna take much we're gonna get up to speed and do around six knots see if we can get in that hookup gonna stay over the ledges so what you want to do when you're trolling the reef is just sort of bob in and out of these structures stay over the structure stay over the reef and you will get into the hookup with your desired species. Now, if you see bait busting on top, of course, you're gonna wanna head towards it. You're trolling with spro jigs, little white bucktail jigs. You don't wanna go too fast. What happens if you go too fast, you diminish the profile of your bait and your fish can't see it. All right, so we're up and trolling. We got the Penn Spin Fisher 5500. That's our short line, out about 75 feet. We got Penn Battle 5000. That's our long line. Both reels spooled with 12 pound test. One has monofilament, the other one has braid. The one with the braid has a long 50 to 75 foot shock cord. If we get into the bite and get hit, that shock cord stretches and retracts the lure back into the fish and helps set that hook. Always gotta have a shock cord if you're fishing with braid, otherwise you will yank the hook out of the fish's mouth. All right, so we're marking some fish up in the water column right in around 50 feet. We're gonna pull the bait over them, see if they, uh, you know, something that wants to bite. Tight line, tight line. All right, Bella. All right, pull up here. Let me let me tighten your drag. All right, pull back and reel on the way down. All right, there we go. Bella on the bait fish. Perfect. That didn't take long. That took all of maybe three or four minutes, right? Yeah. All right, pull back, reel on the way down. Pull back slow, use some finesse. Now reel on the way down. All right, there we go. That line's out of the water. Oh. All right. He's right here. He's right here? Yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put the boat in neutral. No, no, no. It's okay. You're good. You're good. There we go. All right. First piece of bait. You know, he's a little guy, so we're going to get us another one. 
All right, Bella's on the bait fish. Nice little tunny, also known as false albacore and bonita. That's gonna be our first piece of bait for deep dropping. All right, so that did not take long at all. Like I said, a couple, three or four minutes of trolling. Pitching the lines back out. Let's see if we can get another one because that guy's kind of small, but that is what you're looking for. The fresh bait, that false albacore. That is some of the most, you know, bloodiest, stinkiest, smelliest bait that's going to attract the fish when we're out deep dropping, getting it a bite immediately. Maybe get one more of those guys and then we'll head out deep. Oh, looks like we got somebody already bobbing and weaving on that one already. And yeah, we got Bella on another fish. All right, let me slow down the boat a little bit. Remember, finesse when you pull it back. There you go. Pull back and you reel on the way down. Here, check this out. Put your hand up here a little bit more. There you go. There you go. That'll be easy. That gives you more leverage. All right. You having fun? Yeah. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Slow it up. Slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Pull up. All right. Get him up here. There we go. All right. Yep. Another nice little false out yeah. Hey, still, those are the best bait. They're fresh. All right. Here we go. Bella with her second false albacore of the day. All right, folks, there you have it. Nice couple small false albacore. Some of the best fresh bait money can't buy. All right, so like I said, making a run for the border, heading out to the deep drop fishing grounds. All right, folks, so we made our way out to the fishing ground, sitting in right around 840 feet of water on a nice ledge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to this deep dropping. A reel is gonna be the Daiwa Tanacom 1000 on a six foot six Tanacom 66 HF rod. Heavy action, made for deep dropping, bent butt rod. The reel is spooled with 700 yards, 70 pound braid. And we've got about a 25 foot shock cord of 40 pound monofilament on it. So the rig that we're gonna be using is this. This is a 300 pound deep drop rig set up with five 9-0 hooks. We've got little glow beads on each hook and all the rigging is crimped together because the line's too thick to tie any knots. And at the bottom of our rig, we're gonna use this. This is a five pound sash weight because you need something to get you down there when you're fighting against the current of the stream, which is currently ripping at, you know, between two and three knots. We're gonna plug in the Tanacom 1000 into the battery, make a quick fillet out of our couple of pieces of fresh bait that Bella caught, get into the deep drop. We've got our deep drop rig hooked up. Time to take our weight. We're gonna dump it in the water. And then we're just gonna simply let it go. Let it free flow all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna let out about a thousand feet of line to get down to 800 or so feet. Now, on your fish finder, you are not going to mark roses. You never will, they're too small. Your transducer is not powerful enough to pick up little itty bitty specks. We're in a nice big hole right now. You can see the hole on the GPS. All right, we just made ground contact. Just so you leave your rod and free spool, until you feel the bite. You know, you kind of control the letting out of the line with your hand. Feel for them. You'll feel them something once they start biting. All right, we're at about 1,400 feet. We're going to line them up. All right, I'm going to teach Bella how to use the, the deep drop rod. This lever, you just move it up, not all the way. You'll see it start winding up. That's it. You can go a little faster. There you go. All right, and that's all you do. You like the you electric want, grill? Do you want it to go all the way up? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, once we get all the way up, I'll show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're almost up to the rig. I can see the rod bob. Oh, look at that, look at that. You see him pull on it? We got some fish down there. Got about 80 feet left to go. And get it up and see what we got. At the same time, we're going to explain to Bella a little bit more what we got to do to finalize the reeling up of the Tanacom, which has an auto stop feature. 
stops you about oh, I see, you I see, see it bobbing, yeah. right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. It's getting ready to stop. Okay, oh, I see him. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. What you need to do, Bella, come here. All right, pull the lever all the way back, all the way back. Now restart it real slow, push it back up. Push, pull it up, you'll see it start coming up. There you go, now it's gonna stop immediately once it's done, and that's it, right? Yep, you'll see, no, no, it'll stop again once it bottoms right, out, and that's three, it. Three, two, one, stop. There we go, all right. So, let's see, yep, now you wanna reel up a little bit? Oh yeah, I see fish on there. Woohoo! Success on the first try. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Look at the colors. Look at the spines. These are one of the deep water predators that eat anything and everything down there. All right, so we're gonna make another drop, get right back into it, see if we can get more on deck. All right, so we're letting out again. Almost on the bottom. Yeah. Don't stop it. Are we on the bottom? We're on the bottom. All right, so again, pull it. So when you see your rod bobbing like that, that means you're getting the fish on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we want more than one this time. So we're gonna let them keep doing it. So slowly let it out. You can stop it every once in a while. Let them get a couple of them hooked on or whatever. All right, let it out more. There you go, you're getting a hang of it. All right, so once we get to about, you know, 11 or 1200 feet out, we'll reel it up. Rosies are around all year long. They're a non-commercially fish, so they basically blanket the ocean in around 800 feet, so they're super easy to catch. It's always a great idea if you're out dolphin fishing and you have an electric reel like a Tanacom 1000 or Lingren Pittman, bring it out. If you get skunked on the dolphin, you do some deep dropping right around 800, you're gonna catch some fish. All right, so we're at 1200, so you know how to lock it up. You flick this, nope, there you go. Flick this up, this one, flick it up. All right, now, activate your rod. There you go. All right, look at this. We got Bella on the, oh, look at that. Do you want me to do that? Oh, look at that. That means we got, you see how it's struggling? Oh boy. Oh, we got some fish on. Love hearing that rod grind. Yeah. So typically, you know, if you've got nothing on, this rod will be peeling up the line real quick. If you got some good fish on, it'll put a little bit of strain on that motor. So sometimes as you're winding up, yes, fish do pop off, but hey, you know, that's all part of deep dropping. So you want to try and again, keep that line tight, not pull them up super fast. You will yank the hooks out of their mouth. Even though it's an electric reel, you're still fishing. You got to play the fish. If you see them putting a lot of strain on it, give it a second. You know, let back on the wind in. We got 1,076 feet to go. Having some fun, the black belly rose fish, also known as rosies. About 140 feet away. Here we go, we see a little bit of tuggling. See a little bit of tug of war on the rod tip, which is always a good sign that the fish are still hooked up. All right, and it stopped. Okay, now pull the trigger back. Nope, the other one. That one pull all the way back. Now it's push it forward and slowly wind it the rest of the way up. There you go. All right, we're gonna see what we got. I see fish down there, which is always a good sign. So when it stops, Bella's gonna just wind up the rest of the way. All right, wind it up. I'll tell you when to stop. There we go. And black belly roses again. We got a tiny one and a good size one. Perfect. So they call these fish black belly rose fish because if you look down in here, that belly is all black. What it does is when they eat phosphorescent bait fish or little shrimps or squids on the bottom and they light up down in here, it blocks out all that light. Keeps them from, you know, becoming prey fish themselves. All right, so that was some good old fashioned fishing fun, doing a little bit of deep dropping. Caught a couple of nice rosies. All right, so we run across 
some nice weed patches on the way in from our deep dropping expedition we're going to toss out the white bucktail jig see if you know see if there's anybody willing to uh take the bite right here maybe a mahi's running around who knows late summer so they're swimming around they're getting ready to migrate north figure it out all you do is you pitch it out and you wind it in as fast as you can and you see if you can get into the hookup just got hooked up with a nice dolphin a nice cow it dolphin. only took like two tries I think. yeah i saw him run up on it we're gonna see if we can get this dolphin up to the boat this is what we needed to make our day have some oh boy Bucktail jig, I'm telling you. Always. Here he comes, coming up to the top. He's probably going to give us some acrobatics. Whoa, big that's dolphin. big. Like I told you, that's a big dolphin right there, especially for this little rail. Whoa. Whoa. Nothing like capping off a day of deep this dropping with dolphin. a solid dolphin, right? <laughs> bit by a shark look at that God. that's like an old wound look at that dolphin, dolphin in the boat, boat baby <laughs> nothing like capping off a deep dropping day with a solid cow dolphin that's a good you know 15 20 pound fish all right that's heavy i can't even carry like a five pound <laughs> all right folks and that is how we get it done we started off this morning headed out bella caught nice bait fish false albacore and we took it out deep caught some nice rose fish black belly roses fish also known as rosies and we we're heading in hit up some weed patches and we got this nice cow dolphin we are going home with dinner nothing better than hooking it up south florida saltwater fishing style right yeah <laughs> all right all right folks so we had an epic offshore adventure we headed out early to the shallows of the reef trolled up a couple of nice little false albacore for some bait fish then we headed out about 11 12 miles into 800 feet and we put the south florida fishing girl bella on some nice rose fish showed her how to use the electric reel the daiwa tanacom 1000 then the next thing we did is we were heading in we saw some weed patches we said hey let's give this a shot threw out the white bucktail jig and we caught a nice cow dolphin yeah we have an awesome little buffet of dinner to bring home to the family, don't we? A lot of fish. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little bit about heading offshore to do something different, like some deep dropping for black belly rose fish. And also, you know, on the way back in, don't ever call it a day, especially if you see forms of life like weed lines. Give it a shot, never hurts. Look at what happened. We ended up with a nice dolphin for dinner. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool the wind, wind takes, takes us. us.